So I was super bored today. Decided to go to the advanced features on my Samsung Note 9. And I was curious about this option. It says link to Windows. Connect your phone to your computer so you can access your text, notifications, recent photos, and more. Seriously, you can do all that? So I'm going to walk you guys through the steps on how to do it. So basically, you can use your PC, your laptop, or your desktop to imitate what you can do on your smartphone. How awesome is that? Let's get started. The first step is to download the Your Phone Companion from Google Play or Apple Store. If you haven't installed it, go ahead and install it. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, go ahead and locate it. It should be the very last one. What I do is click on my desktop and create a shortcut. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Everything should be pretty basic. Yes, I have the companion. So now what I'm gonna do is pair with the QR code, or you can pair manually. And then you wanna sign into your Microsoft account. For me, I can use my fingerprint. Then you enter your password so you can sign in. So guys, after a couple of um, restarting the app, it looks like I finally was able to generate the QR code. So now I'm gonna scan it with my phone. Okay, so on the phone, you can either go to the advanced features through the settings, or here's a quicker way. Pull down, link to Windows app is up here. Okay, link to your PC, continue, and then we're going to scan the QR code that's uh, provided. As you can see, it's pairing, and it's done. See, now it's paired. Wow, all these features allow. Yeah, I'm done. Then I notice that it came up on the top. It shows that it's connected to your PC. That's your phone companion up there. See it showing? Now let's test out all the cool features of it. Okay, so let's see what this bad boy can do. Let's go ahead and pin it to the taskbar. It's like a task to start exploring. Okay, so you can see in the location, send text messages, view your photos. I wonder if you can view your videos. Use mobile app on your PC or make a call. So it's limited to those five features. But I think that pretty much covers all, right? Because each app is basically a software in itself. So here are all the apps that I downloaded it. Okay, you know what? I'm curious to see um, a security camera. Let's go ahead and try that. I want to check on my home security. See, it's loading the screen. But on the phone, you also have to uh, click on the acceptance message. Okay, so there you go. I'm able to view my front door. How awesome is that? See, that's a refresh. You can make a call or whatnot, see your packages being dropped off. That is truly amazing. You can record too. Okay, let me get out of that app. And let me go to, um, let's go ahead and go to my uh, Key Collector Comics. I want to see what's going up in value of my comic books. You know, you can maximize the screen to a certain level. You can't resize or anything. So let's go ahead and see what the dollar bin. See, these are comics that's going up in value in the dollar bin. How awesome is that? You can see your collection too. It's truly amazing. So as you access each app, it loads and then it imitates the screen of the smartphone. 
and if you were to get out of it, you close it, see, on the phone, it takes you there. So you know if somebody is uh, hacked into your phone, I guess. That's a good warning. All right, so yeah, all these apps, let's go ahead and get out of this uh, function. How do I get out of here? So a back button. All right, so I accidentally exit it out. Let's go ahead and restart the app. See, now you can go to notifications and you have to make sure the uh, link to Windows uh, notification accessibility is turned on. See? You want us to do a refresh, but it looks like I'm good to go. And here is where you can um, send messages. Let's see if I send a message to somebody. See? It appears like that. You can also view your photos. But it looks like these are all photos, so you can't view your videos. That's the uh, downside of it. Only photos. What can I do with the photos? You can copy, save as, share, delete, whatnot. Still pretty good. And of course, all the apps that you can use. Check your stocks. Check your YouTube. Check your security camera. Okay. There's my YouTube channel again. You want to watch videos right here or whatever you save in your phone. It's pretty awesome. And then you can also make calls. But it looks like I have to figure out what app is doing the preventing it from uh, is causing a conflict. But once I figure that out, it should work. So there you go. It's an awesome software tool to use. Now you can access all of the apps and software and check on your phone and do it all from your laptop or PC.